What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, it's time for the BT6 pre-release. No, wait. The BT8 pre-release. Could we recall the opening, blatantly not going to? Oh, I'm excited. One of the main reasons I'm excited, your pre-release promo for BT8, which I've just knocked off the table, is Gammon. I have been waiting for this Gammon. This Gammon is beautiful. One thing I will say, this is a magazine promo over in Japan. Came with an issue of Psycho Jump magazine. The Japanese version is beautiful like Shattered Hollow. Th this is not quite as cool, I'll be honest with you. But it's an English version of the Gammon. I am delighted. Were it not for the fact that the Pokemon pre-release is happening next weekend, I would blatantly have bought a second pre-release kit. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I am not blessed with infinite money. So hey-ho. So the usual deal, we got our Gammon pre-release promo. We got ourselves six packs of New Awakenings. Called New Hero in Japan. It's weird they changed the name. And we got ourselves the pre-release pack, which gets us two random, well, it's uncommons or rares from the set, stamped with the pre-release promo, which sounds kind of cool. And this set, I want Bibamon and Gammon. I'll be honest with you. They're, they're the two I'm after. It really is that simple. I want Beedemon, because, you know, that's the cute little Digitama that Digivolves into, uh, what's he called? Pulsemon, my dude. And Gammon, because Gammon's adorable. So, we've got... Okay, we've got Myotismon, who is a rare. You just get the pre-release stamp, but it's very cool. So, Myotismon's not bad. We've got a rare on there, and that's quite nice. Myotismon is a moderately popular Digimon. It's not a bad pre-release promo to have. It's not the one I was ideally looking for. Gammon or Bibimon? Pandemonium Flare. Again, a rare. Again, a purple. Not what we were looking for, but two pretty cool pre-release promos. So, usual deal at this stage. If anybody out there has a pre-release stamped Bibimon or Gammon, please do hit me up. And I'm, I'm falling in love with Gammon. We got a bunch of promos in quick succession, which was awesome. I got the, all the Japanese promos. I had to. There were three of them. One in Starter Deck 11, one in Psycho Jump Magazine, and one in their Ghost Game promo packs. So I picked up all three of those in Japanese. So I need my I need my promo Gammon here, but I also need my pre-release stamped Gammon, and I need the alternate art. And that's the card I most want from this set, is the alternate art Gammon. No bones about that. I do need to give a shout out though before we get going to the lovely folks over at Mad for Miniatures. It's my local game store in Cornwall, over in St. Austell. And it's not that local, it's like a two hour round trip. But if you find a good local game store, you got to go and use them whenever you can. Because it is a huge thing. One thing that was really cool, I did win the pre-release promo, the winner promos of the Aero Vigimon and the Old Force Vigimon Zero. And I got to pick them up today. Incidentally, this hollow pattern is basically what the Gammon had as a promo in Japan. So it's a little bit sad that Gammon's lost it. But hey-ho. But how beautiful is that? Very. And... While I was there, I got an extra of just the regular pre-release pack as well. Remember, this was a pre-release promo pack for BT7. It was very strange. They actually did a pair of promos rather than just like the Gammon this time. Although, to be clear, I like Gammon way more than the other two combined. However, they are also the box topper or one of them for BT8, the new set. So if you want those promos, you can actually pick them up. Just in any box of BT-8. You buy a box of BT-8, you will get them. That is extremely cool. So, first packs of BT-8, what have we got? We got Nakakimon, a Master Tyrannomon, a Pistmon, Battle Gammon, Mushroomon, Skull Merrimon, Alekmon, Dino Humon, Freemon, Demi Devamon, Digmon, and Flame Hellsife. It weirds me out how Digmon is basically Digimon missing an eye. It's a bit weird. Also notice, and I'm sure I said this with a previous set. Packs nowadays don't actually come with a memory gauge like they used to in the past. So in, in the earlier sets, every pack would come with one half of a memory gauge. And if, like me, you opened up a couple boxes of every set, you have a ridiculous amount of these memory gauges lying around. Uh, they don't seem to do that anymore. I don't think they did in BT7, and it doesn't look like they are in BT8 either. So, with six packs, that's a quarter of a box. So, in every box, you should be expecting seven super rares and two 
Secret rare slash old arts. So we should get two here. Obviously, we are hoping for a secret rare slash alternate art because they are rarer and better. So we've got Senbon Daken, we've got Gazimon, we've got a Solmon, Skull Merimon, Lightning Blade, Thundermon. Oh, we missed. Um, oh, I don't like this. This haunts my dreams. This is one of the weirdest cards we see. I don't like it. I don't like the artwork. Uh, Cyclone Mon. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it creeps me out. Jerubimon. Oh, there we go. Samadhi Santi. The way that was translated in Japanese to English was just... You couldn't say it. Yole Inoue. And Magnamon. And although it doesn't look terribly impressive, it is a super rare, as you can see. Since they made the... Oh, no. What am I doing? No. Come back to me. Come back to me. Since they made... So, a few sets in, it used to be that the gold had, you know, some detailing in gold foil. And then the super rares would be like, you know, you're, you're all over hollow. But they've changed it now so that your super rares and your rares are both kind of all over hollow. And then your secret rares have texture. But it makes it quite hard to differentiate sometimes between the super rares and the rares. Like one of these cards is a super rare and one of them is a rare. And yet artwork wise, I mean, Magnamon is going out the top of the card and the side of the card, but they're very similar. Whereas in the early sets, you could really tell the difference between the super rares and the rares. It's not so much anymore. Though it does have an unintended consequence that you get some rares that are, you know, say uh, level 6 Digimon and all of that, that do end up inadvertently looking like super rares, and that is actually kind of cool. So, we've got a Scorpiomon, Hisariumon, Akilamon, that dude, Angemon, Ginryumon, Spinamon, that's a cool looking card. Kyokumon, Vimon, Carry Kamiya, and then we've got Climbmon as a rare and Giga Death as a rare. Okay, not terrible. I do like how in Digimon packs, I do love the whole two rares in every pack thing. It really is kind of awesome. Makes things just, you know, it's just nice getting two rares in a pack, honestly. That's quite cool. Also, the packs are like properly not weighable, and that makes me very happy. Unless they are, I've not actually found that, but if anyone thinks they are, do let me know. So with three packs in, we found one super rare. We were hoping and kind of semi-expecting to get two super rares, or one super rare and one secret rare slash alt out of our six packs. That is the standard. That's what you should be expecting. More than that, and you've done pretty well from your pre-release packs. I would like to do well from my pre-release packs. That would make me happy. So we've got ourselves a Hookmon. And a Battle Gammon and a Mushroomon. You'll notice there are lots of alternate arts in this set. That's kind of one of the things. Snow Agamon, Top Gun, not the movie. Candlemon, Crimson Blaze. Hierimon, Armadillomon. Oh, there's my boy. And Dark Gaia Force. This is, I mean, again, this is the regular art, not the, um, not the alternate art. But this is one of the cards. I just like Gammon. Gammon's adorable. So, you know, this set for me, there is a Pulse Mon in this set. We haven't actually pulled one yet. It's just a common. But the Gamma Mon, really, for me, the alternate art of that is my chase card for the set. So I'll open a box or two, and if I don't end up pulling it, that's going to be the one card I go out and try and buy. It's not hideously playable, but Gamma Mon is adorable. So I am slightly worried that it's going to be hard to pick up for that reason. But fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Fingers crossed. So there's your Captain Hookmon, your Catch Mammon, your Missed Memory Boost. There's an Examon. There's Patamon. Still no Pulsemon. Or Beebimon, in fact. Pandemonium Flare. Gurumon. Plasma Shot. Digimon Emperor. And Flame Hellsife. Okay. Digimon Emperor is quite cool, I suppose. I am worried now because we've only hit one. I think we've only hit one Super Rare. And... Like I say, from six packs, quarter of a box, we should be hitting two. That's the pace. So if we only hit one, then that's not ideal. And honestly, right, Magnamon, it's not exactly one of the, the real high-level ones. So I'm just double-checking I haven't pulled a Super Rare by mistake. Because like I said, now that the Rares and Super Rares are so similar, it can be quite hard to actually tell them apart. Sometimes 
you pull a super rare like Magnemon, you don't even realise it. One of the things that is sad about this set is that the new Pulsemon is just a common. And so it means I can't get a pre-release stamp version. And I love Pulsemon. I want them all with a pre-release stamp on. And obviously I did with the first one. But this one is not. And it's just sad, honestly. I don't think the last one was either. Surfamon is a common, but it looks amazing. It is. It's a vanilla card, but it still looks awesome. The art is great. Kogumon's a good card. Not even going to try and pronounce that. There's my Beebimon. So, a bit sad we haven't pulled a Pulse one, but we did get Beebimon right. So, we got Davis, Motomir, and Kenny Uchiuchi. Last chance for a super rare. Brilliant. So, yeah, this was not a great pre release opening, I'll be honest with you. We hit one super rare out of six packs, which honestly is. It's not on base, it, it, it's less than we should have. And the pre release cards we got were fine. But they weren't exactly ones we were, you know, super hyped about. We didn't even pull a common Pulse Mom. I mean, look, we did get the promo Gamma Mom, which is awesome. And the premium of these cards weren't terrible. They're just not ones I wanted. And then we got your one super rare, which is cool. And then we got a bunch of rare cards. And like I say, love having two rares in every pack. But the fact of the matter is, I'm fairly sure there's just the one super rare there. I'm fairly sure the rest of these are all just rare. Which means that somebody kind of, thanks to me taking the hit, is going to have a really good pre-release. But like I say, per box you expect 9 hits. Which is 7 super rare and 2 secret rare or alternate arts. So actually, if you get a quarter of a box, that should actually give you 2.25 hits. If we're being pedantic. We got 1. And it wasn't even a particularly good one. Boo! At least not one of the ones I was, I was coveting. But we got our Gammon and we got our two pre-release cards. Oh man, maybe if I'd bought a second pre-release pack, I would have hit like three Super Rares and it all would have been worth it. I guess we'll never know, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we'll never know. But now I want to know your thoughts on BT8. I want to know if you've been to a pre-release and I want to know how well you pulled if you did. And frankly, I want to know anything you want to tell me about the Digimon TCG or about anything, to be honest. So go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice! And then the usual deal, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out the Patreon. Look after yourselves till next time. By far the most important thing. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays. Bye!